This is Seamaster. 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 Seamaster. Welcome to Seamaster. <laughs> Hi everyone. So I'm Isabel Anzorga. I'm the head of oceanography at the University of Cape Town. And I started Seamaster in 2016 and it's 2017 and we're on our second cruise. We have 48 students from 14 different universities around the country. These students will be spending the next 12 days at sea, learning about ocean instrumentation and about how the oceans are changing in an altering climate. Hi, my name is Mtuli Simpofu, all the way from the University of Forte, and I'm doing geology. I'm so excited about Semester because I'm yet to be hands-on with the marine geology. Yes, Semester! Hey, my name is Zinzi, all the way from Water Sisulu University. I'm here with the SA Gallus team and we are going on the cruise. I want to learn everything that is there, literally everything. I am Jordan and I'm from the University of Stellenbosch. I study conservation in ecology and I'm currently in my fourth year. I'm looking forward to Seamaster, not just because of the amazing people that's on board, but generally of what we're studying and just um, the role that the ocean plays in the society that we don't really acknowledge often. Seamaster was something that I thought about four years ago and the main reason is that we have a lot of students who have access to the SA Gallus II through various lecturers or professor uh, sign-up programs. There are many other universities where they're teaching earth sciences but because they have no Antarctic program or they're not connected in any way to the SA Gallus II, they have no chance to actually get on board this vessel. And, um, you know, the SA Gallus is a national facility. It is world class. It's probably one of the best research vessels in the world. It is incredibly comfortable. It's a five star floating hotel that offers all the facilities for excellent research, but really comfortable living as well. So, Seamester brings with it that, that very intensive sort of classroom learning, but it opens up the access of this research vessel and the, and the research that we do to universities that are previously disadvantaged that have no traditional connection to the Southern Ocean. So if we look at the students, we've got a broad range from all the universities, from both previously disadvantaged to advantaged universities and, and institutes. If I use this year as an example, through the open call, we got over 270 applications. So for every student on board, there are about five that were left behind. And so it's a tough call. And I think the students that are currently on can be very proud of themselves to have been selected. My name is Titus Shaniga. I'm from NMMU. Seamaster is basically South Africa's class of afloat. Um, we are on a ship um, and we're just cruising on the Atlantic Ocean. We are we're basically on the Samba sampling line and we are steaming to the Greenwich Meridian Line Zero, um, the line of longitude. Hey, my name is Zonge Kumete and I'm in Oceans in a Changing Climate stream of semester and outside so they deployed the plankton pump which is going to go down there for 10 minutes up to um, 20 meters of depth then it's going to go up again. I'm Eleonora Puccinelli, I'm a postdoc at University of Cape Town. We will be dredging and have like a few other samples like bending samples that have been previously collected and the students are going to look at the different community which is found around Africa and they're gonna be exposed to all these sort of different background and they're gonna see what they're gonna like most. I'm Chris Rautenbach. I, I'm currently doing a postdoc with the University of the Western Cape but I'm also an honorary research associate of UCT. The students will be learning about the waves and the ocean and where waves comes from um, and also how do we look at the ocean from what we see with the eye to frequency analysis and what we know as the wave spectrum. Hi, I'm Isa Harris. So I'm a UCD second year student, oceanography department, and I'm aboard the SAA Gallus II during the semester course. We've just dropped a, the CTD, a device used to measure conductivity, temperature, and uh, uh, depth of the water. Um, the instruments that have just gone in has shown that uh, has shown that we might be in the middle of a feature known as an eddy. So these eddies are mesoscale features that uh, break off from the Agalus current on the east coast of Africa and move towards the western north of South Africa and into the South Atlantic Ocean. In these features, around this, towards the center, we have a process known as downwelling. 
So equine transport that occurs along the edges forces water into a mound in the center and that causes the water to be um, piled up in the middle and that causes the thermocline which is the region of uh, rapid change in temperature with depth to deepen. I've been learning loads. <laughs> it's an amazing amount to learn in the space of two weeks, but it's been very interesting and I've learned so much that so many things that I would actually like to continue learning that I haven't been exposed to before. So it's an amazing experience. Ken Finley, CPUT Research Chair in Oceans Economy, Captain Chi University of Technology. So we've been seeing a lot of uh, humpback whale sightings. Now humpbacks were very hard hit by whaling and they've recovered quite, quite markedly. And as I say, we've been seeing a number of humpback sightings. This here, in fact, for example, is a humpback whale. My name is Tavi Samavumengwana. I'm from the University of Forte in Alice. In semester, I've learned a lot. I've learned that about the nitrogen fixation cycle and also I've learned how to I, analyze chlorophyll oxygen that I've never done ever in my life. So semester have brought new oceanography stuff that we never did in our undergrad even in high school that we came here and we're interesting that may maybe something that to look for when we're doing PhD. So we're gonna make a new change in life through semester. Thank you very much semester for, provi for providing that opportunity to learn more about life in ocean and life on earth as whole that we may see where we are needed as young scientists. Thank you. A semester would not have been possible without the funding from the Department of uh, Science and Technology and the provision of the vessel from the Department of Environmental Affairs.